The whole idea about changing the American diet is about a dining culture, right? So that we're not saying, hey, eat differently. We're saying dine differently. I think benefits of eating healthy are your overall like disposition throughout your day. You feel better about yourself. You can learn better. And just overall, you're, you have more energy and are able to do more things. But, you know, we as a country tend not to want to eat very healthy. The healthy food sometimes is not very good. It really depends on your view of healthy, like less grease, less fried foods. Um, but it also has to be enjoyable too. Um, a healthy diet is not a mystery. It's, it's just plain and boring. From the student perspective, there are a lot of problems with school lunches that reflect larger issues in our culture around nutrition, portion size, taste, and calories. I like our school lunch here. I find out some days they're healthy, and all the other times they're really not. I have uh, purchased school lunches in the past, uh, not this year or the year prior to that, but um, I don't because I believe the quality has gone down and the consistency has gone down. It doesn't make sense for me to spend money on something that I won't eat. The main problem with nutrition in school isn't just the quality of the school lunches. Fresh food options are portioned. It includes food choices that students and teachers make outside of the lunchroom. We still have soda or pot machines in the cafeteria. Kids still buy them. We still have teachers selling uh, junk food for fundraisers for different uh, clubs and organizations. That doesn't help anything. You can eat healthy at lunch, but then you go after lunch and buy three bags of Funyuns and uh, Pepsi then you're just completely, it's nullifying what the cafeteria is trying to do. What do you think is wrong with the American diet? Fast foods. Naturally, I'm sure you hear that all the time. Uh, fast food's not the best for you. You know, in our fast-paced lifestyle, uh, you know, we want to pull in a drive through grab something to eat, and uh, go on about our business. Portion sizes are way too big. Do you think most Americans eat healthy? No. The nutrition of our school lunch is just a bigger problem in our country. Portion sizes for food and drinks in vending machines, restaurants, and convenience stores have all gone up in the last two decades. These larger portion sizes are being offered at lower cost, which makes it harder for people to choose healthier, more expensive options. These larger portion sizes are available everywhere, including school lunch, and are a main reason why obesity has become such a big problem. Uh, a healthy diet consists of less than 2,000 calories per day with enough of the vitamins that we're supposed to get, A, B, C, D, E, along with all the minerals that we need. It is hard for students to change their diet here at school because there's no refrigerator or anywhere to put like a lunch if they're bringing it from home. Um, if there is an unhealthy choice, students would normally pick it, like the french fries, the pizza. The students normally choose that, then the wraps. I think so Ellie's lunch is really healthy. We eat all the components. We have fruits, vegetables, and salads. And most of the days I eat a soft pretzel or fries or with the main meal with chicken or, or pizza or and then it's like we have to get an applesauce with it or apples or bananas or pears, you know, broccoli, etc. I would make there not be always a pizza day and switch up the pizza because our pizza is so greasy it's disgusting. Uh, sweet potato fries, just back to regular fries. I think the school should stop buying processed food. I think school lunches can be what you make them. There are certain healthy things that you can pick instead of like maybe get an apple instead of a bag of chips. But as for the main foods that are served, no, I don't really think school lunches are healthy. I think that people today and young folks are a little more conscientious of what they eat and perhaps a salad bar or some fruit choices that were offered would go a long way. Let the kids identify what needs to be changed and then let the people in the community help facilitate the schools so that they're, so it's not just a battle. And now the momentum's in the direction of change 
not in the direction of uh, awareness. We've become aware of bad food. Students just need to know it's healthy, know it's healthy for them, and make better choices.